Hi, Michelle. Thanks for coming to the Pop-Up Pub. What do you think of this? Oh, I love it. I think it's a great idea to have a pub in the middle of uh, the square. Yeah, it's great. And what do you think about the fact it's all alcohol um, drinks? Alcohol-free drinks, sorry. Um, I hadn't realised when I went, went in, uh, and then I saw the, uh, the kind of uh, the leaflets and things, and I realised, ah, so this is the reason for it. It wasn't just a, an excuse for a, for a piss-up. <laughs> no. Do you think it'll work? Do you think it'll encourage people to have an alcohol-free drink over the Christmas period? If it's anything like this mulled wine, I'd say yes, definitely. It's really nice, isn't it? It is very nice. So what do you think of the, the concept of trying to educate people about drinking more sensibly? Obviously, it's very important. Um, you know, people do drink uh, a lot, and the, the recommended uh, things on bottles is only a recommended thing. Um, so, yeah, we, we, we do drink too much as a nation, and we probably shouldn't drink as much as we do. And, you know, you can have fun without having alcohol. So do you think having the mulled wine and seeing what we're doing here will help you make you change your drinking a little bit? Well, if it means more mulled wine, absolutely. Oh, thank you very much. So did you have a drink in the pub today? Yes, I did. did what, what did you think to the drink? It was really nice, actually. Yeah. Could you, t- could you tell it was alcohol-free? Um, no, actually. Yeah. So if somebody had given you that, um, and or you'd have chosen to drink that on a night out, you'd have been quite happy. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was really nice. It was just like a really nice sparkling wine. Brilliant. And can I ask, do you think that'll make you uh, maybe drink some alcohol-free drinks in the future, or maybe pick up any tips from today about changing the way that you drink? Yeah, definitely. Well, I'm not a big drinker, but like that was really nice. And to be fair, if I if I was served that in a bar, it it wouldn't seem any different to a normal al- alcoholic drink, really. Great, so I hope you pass it on to your friends and give them some of the advice. <laughs> Pleased to see that you're taking some information yeah, away I've as got well. a lip gloss as well and Brilliant. some flyers. So uh, I've picked up some good information. Excellent, thank you very much. Have a good day. Yes, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> Didn't know it was alcohol free until they got in the bar. So that would that work quite well. <laughs> Did you know this was an alcohol free pub when you came in? No, no. It just said free drinks. <laughs> And outside it said free beer and free malt wine, so we thought real beer, real malt wine, but I don't mind if it's alcohol free. The idea behind it is to help encourage people over Christmas to just drink a little bit more safely and sensibly and maybe have an alcohol free drink of some kind instead of drinking alcohol all the time. So I like the idea, like we get Christmas markets in Germany and they serve like malt wine without alcohol and it's just nice and it tastes good. So what do you think of the idea of the, the alcohol-free uh, bar? I don't know. I don't really drink alcohol-free wine or anything like that. So, I mean, the, we did come in because we thought it was alcoholic. <laughs> so, but um, it's okay. It tastes good anyway, so. Can I just ask you, did you have any drinks in the pub today? No, I've just come straight from college here. Are you, are you going to have some drinks in the pub? I've had a taster of Shazam. one of them. Without what did you think? It was nice because it was nice and warm, but without the alcohol. Um, did you pick up any information or advice from some of the staff in there or the, the leaflets that you picked up? No, but we've done work on alcohol before with um, various groups that we've been with and stuff. Not alcoholic groups, Okay, so like day centres and things like that and how much do you spend in a pub and stuff like that. Did you think then that, that what we're trying to get across in the messages around responsible drinking is something yeah, that we should do? Awareness of what goes on because like you see too, too many teenagers drinking on a regular basis and you see people out of it every day and you don't know whether it's because of the cause of drugs or because of a cause of alcohol. could be both but you just need to be a bit more aware. Yeah, and that's what we're aiming to do today. Thank you very much. Well, it's quiet, shall we go? Hi, I'm Graham. So what do you think of the idea of a pub with no alcohol in it in the middle of Hull? Well, I think it would be great, really. You know what I mean? Really, when it's socialising, you just want something in your hand and, and to have a drink, in it. Yeah, I com- mean, you've no hangover. You can safely walk home, like, you know, without staggering and slipping on the ice. So I think it's brilliant. And if you want, you can go in your car and drown them. Do you think it'll actually help people to be more aware of the dangers of alcohol when they go out? Oh, definitely. I, I think it's great. It tastes the same. You know. Yeah, yeah, it does taste very good, doesn't it? I mean, you can keep your senses, can't you? Yes. You know, 
because after so many, you know, you're going, you know, you start muttering, yeah. you know. So you won't make a fool out of yourself. No. So you think we should do this regularly then? Oh, definitely. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's been lovely to meet you. You're welcome. Cheers. Thank you. Hi, Penny. Um, can you just give us a little bit of uh, information about what everybody's been picking up today from you? What information people have been interested in? Um, well, people have, have been interested in the units and how many units it, it's kind of reasonably okay to drink. Um, I've, I've actually been surprised about how many people say that they don't drink or don't drink very often. Um, which is quite quite interesting. So we are the, the norm message that we're trying to get across. Actually, people are bringing that out and are drinking yeah, yeah, less than yeah. we think they are. Yeah. That's really good. Um, do you think there's any ways we could improve the event if we did it again, or anything that we'd do differently? Uh, I think it's re it is really good. I mean, I have also talked to people that that, that do drink. And I've talked to some some young people who are really kind of not really bothered about their drinking but when you sort of talk to them about how they feel the morning after then they say well actually it might be better if I didn't drink quite so much to do that and you can you can talk about what they could actually do a little bit differently so that they felt better the next day or also that they didn't feel so bad at the end of end of the night um, and you can kind of talk to them about whether they're keeping themselves safe whether they're booking a taxi Hi, would you mind if we asked you just a couple of questions about what you think of this uh, this concept in the, the, the alcohol-free... I didn't know it was alcohol-free until I got to the bar, but uh, yeah, it's quite nice. Uh. So, what do you think of the alcohol-free beer? It's not too bad. It's not, yeah, it tastes alright, I guess. It's uh, not the real thing, but it will do for now, I'd say. <laughs> and do you think this is a good idea to have a, an alcohol-free beer? Yeah, an alcohol-free pub in... Yeah, yeah. yeah it works. It's quite nice to have a... Uh, non-alcoholic beverage to go back and uh, you know do my job at least I know I'm not gonna have too many have you tried the the mulled wine yet yeah, no I've got the sparkling wine so it is really nice it just sort of tastes the same as normal wine yeah so like I mean if you like you want to go for a beer on your dinner then you could have an, an alcohol free wine it just sort of tastes the same as well so it's just the same experience do you think it would encourage you to maybe have the odd alcohol free drink in an evening when you go out it would actually, yeah, because like it's not going to taste any different. And it's just, too many, I think, and yeah. you want to carry on drinking, but not. You don't want to feel like you're just drinking a bottle yeah. of can, glass they of can water. Have these. I don't drive, so I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm happy to. I'm happy to drink this on a night out, I guess. Yeah, every now and then, if I've had too many. So. Smashing! Thanks very much. That's great. So, the first question is: What do you think of an alcohol-free pub in the middle of Hull? I think, I think it's a really great idea. Obviously, we've got a lot of Christmas shoppers out doing the Christmas shopping. We've got um, the market just uh, further down Jameson Street. And I think more than, uh, more than anything, people are just intrigued to see what it's all about and we'll come in and, uh, and have a look. And obviously, for the drive-in, doing the Christmas shopping, non-alcoholic drink is uh, it's a good idea. Fantastic. And what do you think of the mulled wine? I've got to say, um, I prefer it to the alcoholic mulled wine, if I'm honest. It's very fruity and it's, it's, uh, it tastes good. <laughs> Uh, are you here with the, the uh, safety team? Yes, yes, that's right. Would you mind just telling us a little bit about what you're doing here? Yeah, basically, um, as you're aware, we're, we're doing about drink and alcohol awareness. And my role basically is to just come down here and just give the message for people to just think about when they go out drinking, what they're drinking, who they're drinking with, the consequences of the drinking. And, and at the end of the night, don't be put in a position where you're getting taxes on your own or left on your own. Always be safe. Um, think about think about what you're doing, how you're getting home, and basically just enjoy your night. But just be wary about you know the consequences of alcohol. And so it's really about just doing a little bit of planning before you go out to make sure that you get home safely That's and it. have had a good night. That's it. Yes. So if we can do that by handing out you know a few leaflets and just raise that awareness, then you know it's a good thing. What do you think to the pub that we've put on today? I think it's a great idea. You do. And have you found so many information useful and sort of things Not that you didn't know? Because I don't have a problem. I, but, but I understand what it's for. Yeah. yeah. And you think that's a good message I that do. we're getting? I think it's a really great idea. Mm. And you're enjoying the drinks? It's wonderful. <laughs> yes, it's warming me up. Yes. Great. Thanks. Well, please take away some information for the people if you want to. I as will well. do, yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, what are you doing in Hull today? Uh, just playing a bit of music in the town centre, but uh, I think the winds, the icy winds, got the better of me today. But uh, 
I'll be back. So what do you think of having an alcohol-free pub in the centre of Hull? Um, what, on a permanent basis, or what? Or this is a one-off. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it puts the, the idea into people's mind, like, you know, uh, drivers, you know, Christmas time, you know. You know, it kind of, it's better than just somebody preaching at, at people, isn't it, you know. Yeah, it's, a, it's a gesture, you know, so. So do you think it might help people have the odd alcohol-free drink in, in, over Christmas? Well, yeah, like I say, especially drivers, you know, you know, they just, you know, the notions in your head, you know, this, you know, you remember something like this rather than just somebody saying, you know, pointing the finger. So how much longer are you going to be playing today, do you think? Uh, no, 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 I've, uh, I've called it a day today, you know, no, I, don't, I don't think that, I don't think the temperatures are going to go up uh, significantly or the wind's going to drop uh, significantly, so fingers crossed for tomorrow. Well, in that case, enjoy your mulled wine. Yeah. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers. Bye. Cheers. I think it's really important at Christmas to um, make sure you're drinking safer in safer levels. Um, it's been really good today to talk to people. Um, not, some of them don't know the units. They don't know how much is safe to, to drive. Um, so it's really important that people don't end up in places like this at the end of the night. It's really, it uh, can be really disappointing for people um, and it's important for them to know that alcohol and crime are linked. Um, it's been a really good day um, and I think there's a lot of things that people haven't realised. Yeah, I think there's quite a few people, especially around the drink driving message, like you said, quite a few people were keen to drink. The, the drinks that we've got saying that that would avoid the problem of how much how many units is in a drink yeah. yeah I think it's been really good today that we've been given alternative alcohol drinks that look like their alcohol um, some people don't want other people to know that they don't that, that they don't drink or can't drink so it's really good that that's a discreet way of being able to um, enjoy and be sociable but be safe thank you so what did you think of having an alcohol free pub in the middle of Hull it's unusual, isn't it? Unusual, yes. Yeah. Still, very it's a nice surprise. Yeah. Did you enjoy the drink? Yes, yeah. yes, very nice. <laughs> yes. So, what did you try? The, the mulled wine. wine. Very nice and warm, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Um, so, can you tell me what information you found useful today? Well, I think any information on alcohol or drugs is good for. Um, giving the older generation some insight into what the younger generation's experiencing. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and are you going to take some information away and maybe pass it on to some other people as well? Well, we have a 24-year-old son, so um, sometimes we do seek help and advice on how to cope with um, indulgences of when they're teenagers. Um, I think that's one of the main issues when they become a teenager. You do need help to support them because they will indulge in things what they don't know much about themselves. So it's important for parents to know where they can go to get that information and advice. So they, yeah, yeah. Okay, and we, and we don't half the time know where to go, and and we usually go to your doctor and they seek advice but they they're not knowledgeable on where to go on a lot of the times well that's what we're trying to do we're trying to make people more aware of where they can get that information from and help and advice and support um good i'm pleased you found it useful today it's needed to be done like this in a long time go to schools and everything mm. thank you